fine. So I, I have no idea uh, if I'm even live. Um, hopefully you can all see me out there. This is my first time doing a live YouTube kind of Q&A and trying to meet everyone and say hello. So I'm looking at my screen here. My screen is on the left so I can see the chat. I can see anyone that says anything to me or wants to know anything. I can actually see it's just there's just me and five people at the moment, which is fine. So uh, let's have a look. Right. Oh, yeah. So some people are already saying hello. Um, you know what? It'd be really handy for me if everyone could tell me where they're from. Oh, my Polish friend there. She's arrived. How are you? Um, so, yeah, please tell me where you're from in the chat. Where, whereabouts you're watching from in the world. Tell me what time it is, where you are. It's, this is really quite exciting for me. Um, just want to quickly say, can everyone hear me? Can everyone hear the audio okay? So can you hear me talking? If you can, please just leave a comment saying that you can hear the audio and you can see the picture fine. That's really going to help me to make sure that I'm doing it correct. So let's let's have a look. Yes, you are. Oh, thank you. Uh, so we got some people here from Morocco already. Is anyone else from Morocco? Wow, India, amazing. I found out. Um, is is there anyone? Oh, it's coming in. I am from Cyprus. I've been to Cyprus. I've been to um, Ayanapa. I've been to Larnaca. Uh, I think I've been some other places in Cyprus. Cyprus, I was in Cyprus about last August and I was singing at somebody's wedding. It was a friend's wedding, so we were there. That was amazing. That was in Pathos. So let's have a look what else we've got. Texas. Cool. Never been to Texas. I'd like to go to Texas. Uh, I Do I speak French? No, I only know a little bit of French. Um, is in uh, Je m'appelle uh, Matthew is my Christian name. Matt, Je m'appelle Matt. Uh, I can't say anything else in, in French. That's all I know. What, bonjour? That's about it. Uh, Romania. We've got uh, Germany. They're saying hello from Germany. Christina. I've got a cousin called Christina. Um... Where else we got? Indonesia. I've had loads of support, you know, from Indonesia. So big shout out to everyone over there. And Kelly, loving your version of perfect. Uh, we keep listening in our house. Oh, I sang my sister's wedding last month. And a bonus. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I remember that. So a lot of people uh, from around the world may not know in other countries, but here in the UK... I sing at like corporate events or people's weddings and stuff like that. So there may be some people pop up on the chat that have actually seen me live, which is pretty cool. So I'm just glad I'm just glad people have turned up because I kind of thought I might be sitting here for an hour on my on my own, really. But I'm not, so that's great. Um Yep, so we can all hear the uh, audio, which is brilliant. Hi, Matt. Ah, oh, the Philippines. Over there, somebody from the Philippines. Somalia, wow. These are uh, amazing places. So somebody's getting married in December. And apparently they're going to use my cover of Rest of My Life for their wedding in the chat. Where, where are you from? Is, is the wedding here in the UK? Or, or you somewhere else? I'd love to know. So, um, a few things to talk to everyone about and stuff. I've been doing a lot of covers of older songs recently. And if everyone's got suggestions of some older songs, put them in the chat. I'd love to know what you all think and the type of songs you want. Do you enjoy me doing 
like modern songs? Do you like piano? Do you like acoustic guitar? What type of songs do you think would be good for me to, to cover? You know, let me know. I'm always interested in hearing what you guys want to hear because that's kind of why I do it, really. Christina is getting married on June in June 2018. And she she's using one of my songs, Love Me Like You Do. Who, who else? Alex Ann from Belgium. Hi. How are you doing? This is brilliant. Oh, so the wedding's in Texas, by the way. I've just read that on the chat. That's amazing. So another thing I'd just like to kind of ask everyone um, about how you listen to music. Do you use Spotify? Apple Music, are you on YouTube? How, how do you kind of, how do you discover music? I know we're on YouTube now, but I'm on YouTube, but I, I personally tend to use Spotify quite a lot when I'm like driving or I'm, or I need, just need to listen to music. So, oh, people miss my vlogs. <laughs> do you want more, do you want more vlogs? Um, do I need to do more vlogs? Do you, do you want to know more about like my personal life and what I get up to? Um, I have like dogs. I, in fact, I could get one of my dogs now. One, just one minute. I'm going to be back. Hang on. So this, this is, uh, let me just check. You can all see that. Yeah, yeah, you can. So this is one of my dogs. This this little guy is called Dougie, and uh, he's a little little boy. He's the youngest of the three dogs that I have. And you're a nice little friendly dog, aren't you? I'm quite a big uh, I'm quite a big animal lover, so I'll let him go. But yeah, I've got three dogs. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just interested to know what you all let me i'm gonna just read the chat for a bit so miss my vlogs um ah somebody did a version of uh baby in their singing competition that's quite cool so uh that's brilliant and where was your singing competition whereabouts was that you let me know so uh, this is brilliant, um, absolutely amazing to speak to everyone. Um, a little bit of information. Uh, so last last week, uh, really quite sad. Uh, I found out that my my granddad died um, last week, and that was last. Um, so it's last Wednesday. So it's it's less than a week. And uh, that was, so it's been quite a, a funny week for me. I haven't really done much music this week, which has been um, quite tough. I've had a couple of gigs as well. So I've had a lot on my mind this week. But I did find out um, that my dad, my granddad's mum was from South Africa. And I, I never, ever knew that. So I do have like some ancestors and some family probably in South Africa that I don't know, I've never met. So that's pretty cool. Um, have you guys got pets or, you know, do people, people got animals, animal pets out there? Uh, let me know. I, I quite enjoy listening to your stories and you guys telling me about your lives as well. It's just dead interesting to know who actually watches my videos and sometimes when you're just kind of singing at home, you always wonder like if anyone's gonna hear your music or who actually is watching behind the video camera. So it's it's amazing just to start meeting everyone. Diana, how are you? Good to see you. I I thought you might be tuning in. I do I must say I've got um I've got some people online that just seem to like share my content and really, really help me in music. And they just like they're so loyal and they they're always there and they always retweet. And I hope that I say thank you enough. You know, it's really amazing that 
people out there are just kind of getting behind me and allowing me to do what I love most as well. Um, let's have a look. Hello. Hello, Sebi from Romania. No to what I was saying. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, so obviously there's um, a lot of people on the chat from India. So whereabouts in India are you from? India is a big place. I've never been. I'd love to go. But I, I would say um, Indian curry is probably one of my favorite dishes. Uh, like a, a Balti curry. Um, especially, you know, if I've had like a night out with my friends. Definitely finishing off the night with... A nice hot curry is just amazing. Um, ah, my Polish friend has four amazing dogs as well. I knew she'd be a dog person. I've got another dog. I've got another dog. This I'll go and get my other dog. Poppy. This. <sighs> Let's just check she's on the screen. Yep, meet Poppy, everyone. You all right, babe? <laughs> yeah, looking into the camera. We've got to look at the camera, haven't we? So, oh, yep. Yep, so this is, uh, this is little Pops. She's like, she's like the middle one. Aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> okay, so that's, that's my other dog, Poppy. And I've got one more, which I'll go and get now. Yep, and this is my last dog. This is, uh, she's called Belle. Uh, we've had to take her to the vets actually today. And she's got a little, little, like a little sore on her mouth here. We've got to put some cream on. So, this is the mum. So basically what happened was we had one dog, then she had a puppy, couldn't sell it because we felt mean, kept the puppy, she had another puppy and we kept that as well. So that's Belle. There you go. So let me catch you up on the chat. Oh, I've got hair all over me now. Ah, Sundi is from Assam in India. Oh wow, I was actually I was actually looking at that place on the map yesterday. That's so strange. So somebody wants to know why I don't follow anyone on Instagram. Maybe I should follow people on Instagram, but I just feel like I don't use Instagram much and if anyone wants to speak to me you can always message me on Facebook or you can just tweet me. I try to follow everyone back on Twitter as well. So anyone can just kind of direct message me. Um, I like to be quite personal with everyone. So I try and reply to comments and, and say hello to people and stuff. But on Instagram, I just I just don't think I have the time to, to commit to, to the platform. And that's why I've been a bit like slow on Instagram. But I have I have thought about following people <laughs> on Instagram, but I just haven't got around to it. I'm actually on Snapchat as well, but I don't. I just I've never actually sent a Snapchat yet. I've never I've never used it once, but I am on there as well. But I tend to like look at other people's and forget to make my own. So what else have we got on the chat? Your songs are really... So I hope I'm saying this. Yeah. I, I I hope it's pronounced Iftikar. I hope that's correct. That's how it kind of reads to me. Uh, your songs are really appreciated here. People here appreciate great music no matter what. Wow, that's such a, a fantastic comment. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. I'm just going to, um, there's this little chat thing at the side on YouTube. I don't know how many people are watching this on a desktop. In fact, I'd be interested to know that. If you're watching this on a desktop, 
Let me know if you're watching it on your mobile, let me know. So let's have a look. I'll just make sure I've answered people's questions. Oh, Diana, she has a half chihuahua. I, I, I love all dogs though. In fact, I, I've got like a real passion for animals. So I love like all wild animals like elephants and giraffes right down to like whales or dolphins or just just any animal then I, I really support like animal charities and stuff or anything like that um, yeah big passion of mine hi from Peru this is amazing I'm not sure how to pronounce your name um, Miss Lopez so it's like Sayu, Sayu, S A Y U, Sayu. Um, I don't. The reason I'm really, I really want to sing live on on a like a YouTube event, and a lot of people have asked me to do that. And the reason I can't is there's like copyright issues. So if I sing a cover live on like a, a live stream event, I might get like a strike on my account, which sounds ridiculous just for streaming. But I just don't want to like risk any problems to my account. So that's why I can't sing live, unfortunately. But I am, I am working on it and it's something that I want to do and I'm definitely going to do in the future. So, uh, let's have a look at this. Matt, will be coming over for my post graduation. <laughs> I mean, there's some such nice comments on here, and it's amazing to see so many people from all around the world. We've got photographers. You saw, you sang at my daughter's wedding on the twenty third of September. <laughs> Oh, I remember that. That wasn't even like long ago. Wasn't that like, what's the date? That was like three weeks ago. Yeah, that was cool. Um, so yeah, a lot of people on mobile phones. I've kind of got this vision of people just kind of walking around their houses with their mobile phone. I'm on, I'm, I'm, it is, uh, what time is it here? Yeah, it's like 10 to 8 where I am. So... It's really bad weather tonight. Apparently, there's a, a storm coming uh, to Britain. And I think the weather and everything, they've made like a massive deal. But actually, it's not It's not even that bad. So, don't worry. So, a few guys from Germany. Somebody from Vietnam. Hey, how's it going? Can I speak Spanish? Somebody wants to know. I can't. I... I really wish I could speak um, other languages. When I was in school, I I grew up in a, a like a I grew up in Great Britain, but there's a like a section Wales. Everyone in Great Britain will know that. But um, yeah, so in Wales, you learn a language called Welsh at at school, which is compulsory. So um, I, I'm not very good at that either, but I do know more of that than I do sort of any other language. English is my first language. And then I know a little bit of Welsh, like maybe three sentences. And then a tiny, 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 tiny bit of French. Again, like five words. But I don't know any Spanish. I, I wish I did because I wish I, I knew a bit of Spanish and Portuguese as well, because my music does really well in Brazil. And uh, Spanish speaking countries um, but you know what I wish I could just speak every language because it would just be so much fun and my music does really well outside of the UK so yeah maybe maybe it's something I, I will do one day but I've just got kind of so much on and I'm learning guitar as well I'm always producing music and making different music and 
I'm working with re some really exciting people at the moment. I'm going to show show you all a link here. I'm just going to grab a link. One second. Let me just type it in. Uh, Kev Sim. So I'm just going to pause this video. One second. So yeah, I'm going to share a link in the chat. Here we go. So I've just shared a link to a video. I'm working with this guy at the moment. He was the winner of The Voice in the UK uh, last year in 2006. His name's Kev Sim. So I've been working with him, recording and stuff over the last sort of three weeks. So I'm going to be sharing that. I'm working with about five or six different artists now, like kind of helping them produce music and, and putting it on Spotify and Apple and things like that. And that's been really amazing and dead rewarding. So I can't wait to kind of share the finished product with you all. And there's a few other people as well that have done really good. Uh, some of you may have watched The Voice. Obviously, if you're not from the UK, I don't know if you can see that link, if you can watch that or not. I'm not sure. So let's have a look what else we've got on the chat. Speak Spanish, Vietnam. Incredible. So, Diana, so you, you kind of know the key sample. Do you, do you live near him? Or um, have you kind of supported his band? I haven't seen Keith myself. A lot of people on the chat won't even know who Keith is um, or our relationship. So I was once in a in a boy band many years ago um, when I was about 16. And one of the guys in that band was called Keith Semple. He now lives in America, in Chicago. Haven't seen him for eight years. So we're friends on Facebook, but we, we rarely get to see each other. Ah, so we do have uh, Daniel from Ireland. So, yeah, so the storm is really bad in Ireland. I'm much more sort of into, I'm more like in between Liverpool, where the Beatles are from, and Birmingham. Like somewhere in between there is kind of roughly where I am, if you're looking on a map from around the world. So Ireland feeling is, is going to feel the brunt of this storm, but thankfully I'm okay. Let's have a look what else we got. Ah, so we've got some people, dead passionate animal lovers and LGBTQ uh, and people like that trying to promote diversity and equal rights. That's very cool. I mean, I'm in the music industry uh, and the entertainment industry. So, you know, it is a very sort of diverse industry anyway. Um, so I've grown up sort of very exposed to different cultures um, you know, and people with like different sexualities and stuff. So it was there, you know, when I was very little, it's kind of quite prominent in the entertainment industry. So yeah, so it's always kind of felt kind of normal, you know, for me. So, but it's cool that you're out there, you know, promoting stuff and trying to make a difference. What else we got? I must say, I'm useless with other languages. So thanks that everyone else can speak English. And you know what? You're all typing in English, um, which is amazing. I, you know, I wish, I wish I could do that. So what else we got? Okay, so I think I think she's spelling her name like S A U. 
So would I pronounce that? <laughs> Sayu? Sayu? Maybe? Sayu? I hope that's right. Wow, amazing. Oh, let's see what else we've got. All oh, right, so Diane, thanks for answering that. You do live near him. Hope he's well. I believe he's got a family now, which is interesting. Um, so, question on the chat. When did I start singing? I've been singing just like my whole life since I was about nine years old. So a long, long time. I've never had any sort of other job other than singing. Um, so yeah, just all my life. And my first interest in music was musical theater. And from there, I was just kind of hooked. I never wanted to do anything ever again. Just, just music. Um, I don't think that I could like do a normal job because I feel like music's like, like a part of who I am. So I don't view it as a job all the time. It's just kind of what I do, uh, day in and day out. And yeah, so to answer your question, I was about nine years old when I started. What else we got? Let me just switch a couple of screens around here. Let's have a look. Anita, hello. I love your cover of Tenerife Sea and rest of my life. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I feel like everyone, everyone always loves the love songs, you know. I try to, I used to be very worried about what I put online. Nothing ever was like good enough and I'd like record a song and, and then I would stop because I would always think it's like not good enough. So it took me a long time before I shared music online. I've been singing all my life and doing gigs, but I never like shared music on YouTube for a long time because I always tried to make sure everything was like perfect. And I found that in life, you can't wait for things to be 100%. I think it's much better to have, have like a passion, enjoy something and just kind of put it out there and not worry too much about if it's 100% perfect. I think if something could be like 80%, if you're happy with something about 80%, then you should just put it out because it'll be fine. You know, that, that's one thing that's really helped me in my life. Um, let me just catch up here, I'm, I'm well behind. I'm glad I got the name right, by the way. Let me just scroll. Gosh, it's been a lot since I last looked. Um, big support. So Diane, she watched the band. That's cool. So we have some D, username A, B, B. I have subbed for a long time. Always enjoyed your voice quality. Uh, tell us your name. I don't know your name. It says your username is A, capital B, capital B. So, you know, come and join in. Let us know what you're called. So you feel in paradise. So a question, I do listen and sing songs and some, sometimes soulful is absolutely a feeling in paradise. What about your emotions regard to this context? Hmm. I think this question here, 
from uh I hope I say this right, this 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 name. It's uh Sartak. I hope that's right. I tried my best. Um I think you're are you asking me what what I feel like when I sing emotionally? Is that is that your question? Let me know. And if it is, I'll answer it. Uh so Diane who is your biggest influence? Uh, musically, I really like, and I haven't done a cover of the, of any of their songs, I really like the Eagles. Uh, I love um, Hotel California and music like that. I love the Eagles. I really like Coldplay. Uh, I've, I really like Coldplay since their early days of like Yellow from their first single, really enjoyed their music. I like Oasis, uh, the group, their early music, really like that. As I was growing up and stuff, I was quite a young, young, young guy, really enjoyed that. Um, I tend to like more older songs in general than sort of, you know, dead modern stuff. I, I do find that the mod modern songs can start to sound a little bit samey. And they're all sort of like, you know, and just, they lack sort of really nice chords and, and, and lyrics. It's all very repetitive and boom, 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 boom. So, I don't know. Tell me in the chat, everyone just, say like three artists or bands that you really like um that i would have maybe heard of so like really famous people it could be old they could be new artists so list them in the chat and i can get a vibe for what you're all thinking emma I made her wedding day extra special, she says. Why, thank you. Um, so back to the question from my good friend that asked what I sing about when, or, or what I think about when I feel emotion, when I, when I record a song, what do I think about? So I think it's important that when you sing a song, you try your hardest to understand what the song was about. And that's one reason why I've always, I sometimes struggle with modern songs because I feel like the meaning behind the song isn't, isn't very good or it's just like, can you all hear my dog by the way? He's just woofing over there, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I always think like modern songs like repeat the chorus loads and, and it's, it's more about being catchy rather than trying to be, you know, credible. I don't know. So I, I think I have to have a, I have to, when I sing a song, it has to have like a good story that I can connect with, but, or I can understand what it's about. And then, you know, I'll know how to f sort of use the tone on my voice. If it's like a happy song, you might, be dead happy and sing it all jolly and if it's if the topic of the song is a is about a sad topic I, I might be more you know more breathy or just more relaxed in the way I sing I hope that helps that's and one thing I always love to record my vocals when the room's quite dark um you know I know only normally just wear like a pair of shorts if I sing and I record, I don't like have loads of clothes on. I like to be quite free and that's why I like recording at home. So I get to kind of just record when I feel right and I can have like a break in between to try and sort of capture a good vocal. So yeah, very cool, Diana, thanks. So, Somebody wants to know, am I part of the LGBT community? No, I'm not. Um, I 
live here with my partner. It's called Laura. Um, I'll go on, one, one minute. I'll get your photo. <sighs> Let me just find the window. Oh, I've lost everyone. Oh, I know you're back now. Yeah, so this here, this is Laura. Uh, this was our, this is our wedding day, uh, four years ago. So that's pretty cool. So that's who I live with. Let's see what else is going on here. Um, I haven't, uh, he wants to know if I've heard of the song, It's Not Goodbye. Um, no, by Laura Pussini. No, I'm afraid I haven't heard that one, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that out. I'm not actually a very good reader. My eyes, I think I need to zoom the chat in a bit. But unfortunately I haven't heard of that. Um, but I, I will add it to my list. Maybe I'll go and check it out. Put the link in the chat. Find it on YouTube. No. <laughs> People are trying to get me to pronounce names here. I'm going to really struggle. Uh, but I, I, know it's, I know it's Alberto. So I can say that. Surely that's just your first name. Do people call you Alberto? That's a pretty cool name. I like it. The struts are really, really getting... So Di Diana says the struts are really, really getting some notice here in America. I've never heard of them. But again, I'm going to check this out. This is great because I get to kind of look at what artists you all like. So this information is really good. What else do we have? Somebody wants to know if I had the chance to collab with anyone, who would it be? I think I would collaborate with um, probably maybe Coldplay, but that's just not going to happen. I, I'm also a big fan of Frank Sinatra as well really like Frank Sinatra but obviously that's not possible now but if I could collaborate with anyone alive it would be Coldplay and if it could be just anyone it would be Frank Sinatra oh but I am a, I'm actually a big big fan of Robbie Williams but I think he's only kind of like really big in the um UK I don't think he's kind of that well known outside the UK have you heard of Robbie Williams don't know. Let me know. Um, Martina has recently fell in love with Jason Isabel. He's great, apparently. <laughs> I'll check him out. I've never, I've never heard of him. But she's her ultimate favorite is obviously Mr. Ed Sheeran. He's done so well. I might cover some more Ed Sheeran songs. I don't know what you all think about that. There's a, I quite like the one, um, I quite like the song called Barcelona. I've heard that one. Do you like that one? It's, it's kind of on my, it's on my maybe, maybe I'll cover list. Two songs that I'm working on this week are, let's have a look. I've got them here on my Spotify. I'm doing a song called Hi by the Lighthouse Family. I don't know if you know that, but I'm doing that one. That's pretty cool. Um, so Daniel, his question is, what is the one thing that helps you navigate life? And looking back, what's your biggest regret? Um, so firstly, I think it is easy to regret stuff and maybe like five years ago I would have 
I would have had things that I regret. And, but now I, I try my hardest not to regret stuff because I think that you make decisions in life based on how you feel at that moment and, and what, and the knowledge, you know, and it's almost, it is almost like pointless to regret because you can't change it. And you obviously decided to do something back then that you thought was right or it was the best decision for you. So I would say definitely don't, don't regret anything. That's, um, that's something you, you know, you don't want to do. Um, and your next question, what's the one thing that helps me navigate through life? Oh, that's a difficult question. I think it's really good to have like someone in your life that it's really like, you know, you, you sort of like your best friend and, and someone you can maybe like trust to say things to that you can't say to other people. Uh, so that, that one person obviously is my partner and I can tell her things that maybe I, I can't tell anyone else. And I think if you find a person in life that you can share everything with and, and sort of be best friends with, that I think that's the one thing you definitely need to take you through life because obviously I lost my granddad um, you know, like five days ago and I've, I've learned that, you know, your parents and your grandparents, unfortunately, one day, you, you know, you will lose them and you, all that's going to be left is your partner or your wife or your husband or any children that you may have. So I think it's important to find like a best friend, really somebody that you can rely on and depend on to share things with and discuss like problems with I think I think that helps did that answer your question Daniel <laughs> did it do okay I don't know um so let's have a look what else do we have oh thank you Diane for your comment so I'm just going to scroll, just want to make sure I haven't like ignored anyone. Uh, what time is it in Chicago, by the way? And what time is it in India now? Is it the day? I don't know. So, hey, uh, just joining us. Night to you. Where are you from? What's your name? Tell us your name. We want real names. Oh, hi, hi, Milo. Milo, always tuning in to my YouTube channel. Leaves a comment every time. Not forgotten. Um... What does that say? Oops, let me just scroll back the chat. There's been too many comments. Uh, so we have loads of Ed Sheeran fans. Oh, somebody said Simple Plan. I didn't even know they're still going. I used to love Simple Plan when I was a kid around the era of some 41. Simple Plan were kind of quite out there and I remember those guys. They were really cool. I'm gonna to have to check that out. I, I have no idea what they're still doing. Charlie Puff. Yeah, he's cool. I, I do find though, I feel like his songs don't suit my voice. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, Sandra. You're late. Yeah, Sandra, another fantastic person that supports my music. Always there. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, yep, some nice comments. Uh, somebody wants to know, by the way, I want to know, do you grow melancholic? 
I have no idea what that means. You can speak better English than I can. I have no idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google that. Ah, right. Okay, it's a translation issue. No, I try not to be sad. Although I do get sad, you know. I used to. Um, I think everyone. I think every person now has times where you just feel like just like low just annoyed at life and stuff and it could be anything you know it could just be family arguments it could be somebody said something to you that upset you it could be like people have weight issues there could be so many reasons why you just feel a bit down in the dumps but i think if you can find something that makes you happy you know and live for those moments and try not to let stuff get you down. So I, I try my best. I, I think I just get as sad and depressed as the average person. Uh, you know, I'm, I try my best to be as upbeat about things as I can and um, and try to like look at the positives and stuff. Um, really enjoying music at the moment. So I feel like when you do music your whole life, you do feel like it can be like a, like a roller coaster. It can go up and down and up and down. And at the moment, I feel like things are going really well for me. So I'm I'm like quite on a I'm on like a good a good spree at the moment where things seem to be going well. Uh, and you know, there's a lot of positive news. So try not to be sad. What else do we have? Sandra, I don't know your job, by the way. You've never... I don't think you've ever told me what your job is. Tell me in the chat. Be interested to know. You are... Oh, so Diana, you like Robbie. Well, I was thinking about doing some Robbie Williams songs. Not sure which ones. I don't know whether to do Angels. Obviously, it's so popular. I don't know if, if people feel like it's sort of like a karaoke song now. I don't know. I, I've i got so many of his that I love. Let me know which your favourite is. I'll put it on my list because I don't mind, really. Uh, oh, do I feel sad after singing some songs? Is the question. Yes, songs do make me feel sad when I hear them. I love, um, there is a song by Coldplay called Everglow. It's the most beautiful song. It's so sad. It makes me really sad. Also, I love, uh, there's a band called Chicago. Um, they have some beautiful music, so emotional and uplifting. So, yeah, music and I love, I actually listen I really enjoy listening to like instrumental cinematic type songs as well that sometimes don't have any singing. So they, they can be equally as emotional and gripping and stuff. So what else have we got? Martina, you haven't put the link in. You've put do this cover with a smiley face. I'd love to hear that, but you you haven't told me which one. So put it down. Uh, what else have we got? That's it. I'm requesting a Robbie cover. Please do. It's midnight in India. Wow. Thanks for staying up. That's amazing. I'd love to. I'd love to visit India. I, I do know people that have visited there and they've said so, so many like positive things. Um, maybe, maybe like one day, maybe you could do like a gig in India. Imagine that. I wonder, I wonder what like the reception would be. Do my question would be to people living in India, do like a lot of people speak, um, English is it is it popular would I would I be okay to to kind of do gigs and stuff uh, 
It's all in my spirit. So, so Night You uh, is your name, Matthias. It's sort of like, it's sort of a bit like my name, but like a different version. Like that is the German way of is saying uh, Matthew, maybe. I don't know. So, oh, it's it's midday over in America. <laughs> Sandra says, much love, dear. And much love to you too, dear, as well. I'm glad you're impressed with my answers there. I'm trying my best. This is my first sort of live stream. I did do a Google Hangout a little while back. Um, maybe like a year ago, but I, I went out today and bought a camera and everything, a webcam. So I hope, hope the quality of the image is okay. And I hope the sound's okay. I've got this kind of USB microphone. Uh, Milo, you did ask me about doing outdoor videos a while back. Um, and it's something I'm yet to do. It's just difficult because it always rains in Britain and it's very like unpredictable, the, the weather and stuff. But maybe you could just do it in the garden, I don't know. Uh, do you have a team? Are you working alone? Are you your own stylist? What do you like doing besides music? I would say, okay, so Milo, you have a few questions here. So we'll take them one by one. So I've answered the video outdoor one. We've done that. Uh, do I have a team? Well, I sort of have a team. My my job, you know, I, I make most of the music, um, you know, producing the songs and obviously editing vocals and things like that. I, I edit all my own videos, but I don't, I don't film them all. I actually get my missus to film it. She's, uh, she's stuck with that job. So yeah, I do all my kind of my own music stuff, but when it comes to like technical stuff, like putting songs on Spotify and Apple Music, I have like different companies that I'm involved with and and stuff like that. So I'd probably say like 75% of everything I do comes from me. And then I get like 25% help from my missus that does things like administrational type of issues. And then the rest are just like third party companies that, you know, that just help people like me. So this is kind of my full full time job. I make my full living from people streaming my music. And I probably say like my the way I earn a living is about 70 percent streaming music on digital services like Spotify and, and Apple. And then the other 30 percent is like gigs. So obviously when you do stuff that is for your job, you have like bookkeeping to do and things like that. So it's quite, quite intense. Um, and the last part of your question was, <laughs> I, am I my own stylist? Well, I am, unfortunately. I, it's really hard, actually. That's one thing that I've, I've struggled with a lot you know, since I've started online, that when you keep putting videos out and you keep making music and you keep doing YouTube videos, like how many times can you wear the same t-shirt? This is kind of like the problem. So I always think like, if I if I wear a t-shirt, I always think, well, I can't wear that for the next video because I've worn it, even though between videos, it's been through the wash, it's nice and clean. I just feel like, I don't know. Do, do you think, do you think, you have to have a different outfit for every video. I, I've been wondering about this for a long time because I, I probably would want to make maybe a hundred videos a year. So that's like a hundred outfits. Or I didn't know whether to have like one t-shirt with, with like my name of my channel on or something like that. I don't know. 
So let me know what you think. Do you think do you think I'm dressing wrong? Is that why you're asking the question? Um, and what else do I do beside music? Um, gosh, I don't do much. I I record other people. So I've got about uh, five or six people that I'm working with. One of them is called Lucain. That's her stage name. We did a cover of Sam Smith's new song. That's on my channel now. So there's like an example of a type of cover that I would do with someone else. And she does her own music as well. Um, let me just have a sip of my tea. I normally drink black coffee, but this is proper English tea. Uh, I really enjoy, started doing some guitar grades about three years ago. So I try my best to practice guitar if I can. I really enjoy uh, movies and Netflix. I'm absolutely addicted to Netflix. Do you, do you guys watch Netflix? What series is, have you watched? I've, I've done so many series. I've seen so many, um, just, you know, uh, Prison Break and Dexter and House of Cards and Breaking Bad. The only one, the only series I haven't seen is, um, Game of Thrones, which I know is a big one. And a lot of people are going to lecture me about that now on the chat, I feel. But, um, my favorite I really liked, there was a series called Power, which I really liked. And there was one called Narcos, which was amazing. I really enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, that, that's about it, I think. So hope I've answered your questions, mate. What else have we got? Oh, yeah, okay. Martiana, yeah. Martina, yeah. Barcelona, I got you. Sorry, I said it. It's, uh, there's a delay in the chat, so that's why I didn't see it. So, uh, Martina wants Barcelona by Ed Sheeran. I like that one. Ray, how's it going? Hi, thanks for stopping by. Uh, simple Plan make, Simple Plan makes good songs now too. Problem Child, Astronaut and Summer Paradise. I'll check that out. I was thinking about starting a, a Spotify playlist and making it like a collaborative playlist between myself and everyone else. So you guys can add songs to that playlist for me to hear that the songs that you want me to cover so I can just check them out. And if, if I like them, I can just cover them. So you're gonna have to be on Spotify for that though. <laughs> what else we got? Right, I've got like three, five minutes left. So I'll just make sure I haven't left anyone out. Stranger Things on Netflix. Yes, Diane, I've seen series one. Absolutely amazing. I didn't actually know there was a second series. Didn't know that. So I might have some I might have some interesting news in a few weeks to share with everyone. I can't share it quite yet because I don't actually know if it's a hundred percent happening. But I've got something that I'm working on, like a like a TV thing on on TV stations. So if it pulls off, it's gonna be quite cool. So keep this space and watch it. But I will let you guys know before anyone else. Let's see if there's anything else. If there's anything else anyone, anyone wants to say, let me know, because I'm gonna head in off in like one minute. Uh, Matt, need to prepare for my college tomorrow. I take the leave right now. Hope to see you live video again. 
All right. Well, thank you very much for attending there all the way from India. I really appreciate that. And uh, good luck with college tomorrow. Right, guys. So I'm going to wrap it up now. I just want to seriously thank every person that's, um, you know, come to say hello. Absolutely amazing, you know, that you bother to take your time out of your day to come and chat with me and answer questions. Um, if any of you want to ask anything else or if you ever just want to say hi or tell me about anything, um, come and say hello on Twitter. MJ Official is my username. You can just direct message me. If I don't follow you, then just send me uh, a tweet or something and say, hey, Matt, follow me and I'll follow you back. So then you can message me if you like. You can message me on Facebook as well, if you like there. I tend not to log into my personal one too much nowadays because just so busy. As always, um, I reply to comments. So, yeah, so I just want to say thank you very much. And um, I'm really glad you guys tuned in. And I'm going to be putting another video up on my channel on Friday, maybe Thursday. See how I get on. Um, but Thursday or Friday this week, going to have another video up. So keep watching, keep streaming on Spotify and Apple or YouTube. And... Um, Take care and I'll see you all soon.